Tiger. Hey. Hey, uh, you got second team all uh, Pac-12 heading into the season. What does that What does that mean to you uh, going into the season? Um, I appreciate the recognition, of course, but my main thing going into this season is just having a, you know, winning, you know, like how we left off last season. We just want to bring that momentum into this season. And all I'm really focused on now is bringing the team together and getting ready for our games that we got next week. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Tiger, how you doing? Hey. Um, you know, you, you were uh, one of the, you were the point guard, you know, last season. Um, one of the top returning uh, assists, but the shooting was a bit of an issue. What have you done in the off season to improve on that? And how do you think it's, it's, uh, it's going into the season? Uh, I feel really confident going into the season. You know, <clears throat> I just got to take my shots when I'm open. This off season, I've been uh, working a lot on my off the dribble shooting and, um, you know, taking more mid range shots and not being as uh, like, try to uh, not defer as much when I have an open shot and, you know, pass up a good shot for a great shot, but I really just tried to lock in on uh, my off the dribble shooting and things like that this off season to help my team. <clears throat> Tracy Pearson, go ahead. Hey, Tiger. So um, hey. how different is it for you physically uh, right now compared to last year when you're coming off that injury? Um, and how are you just in terms of your stamina? You played so many minutes last year how is it how are you different right now physically I feel good you know going into uh, the off season last year I knew I had to come back in uh, better shape starting at the beginning of the season you know coach wants to run a lot more and get the ball up so you know I'm feeling com I'm feeling really comfortable I feel 100 percent and um, I'm just ready to play uh, Beth go ahead hey Tiger how you doing I'm good how you doing Good, thanks. Um, yesterday, um, the NCAA said they're looking into having the tournament just be in one location, most likely Indianapolis. Um, just kind of wondering as a player, um, kind of what your impression was of, of those plans and, um, you know, how that, um, you know, everybody gets so excited around the country and how that might kind of affect the tournament, you think, this year? Um. Honestly, I don't really know. I haven't looked into any of that stuff. Um, I've just really been, the, obviously the NCAA tournament is a dream. And I mean, whatever the NCAA has in store, I'm sure it will be a, a reasonable option. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm really just focused on these games we got coming up this next week and really just this season. And when the NCAA comes or, or when the NCAA tournament comes and we got to handle that stuff, uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Ben, go ahead. Um, obviously, it seemed for a while that you were going to play with Dacian, and then he went to the uh, that new G League thing. What was kind of your reaction to that? And and obviously, uh, you know, that would have impacted your role in the team. What? How did you feel about how the way that that whole thing played out? Uh, I was happy for him. You know, uh, you got to do what's best for you and your family. And um, it seemed like he got a great option to go up into the G League and get ready to go to the NBA. And every kid's dream is to go to the NBA, so it's a no-brainer. I'm just happy for him and. Uh, it's good for him. Tarek, go ahead. Hi, Tiger. Uh, I saw Coach Cronin tweet this morning, you guys getting up and down uh, in Poly Pavilion. Was that the first time you guys did that today? Uh, and if not, you know, what was it like to play in that empty arena? Because that's probably what these games are going to be like. I know it was just practice, but that had to feel odd. And you got to probably get used to that now. Yeah, I mean, Polly's home. You know, we still – this was our first time, you know, playing in there. So it was a little different from being in the practice gym. But, you know, Paulie's our home and we still practice in there sometimes last season when. So we're used to playing in there with no fans or anything like that. So it won't be too much. It won't be a problem for us is what I'm thinking. Tracy, go ahead. So, Tiger, you, you kind of broke a little news right there. You said Mick Cronin wants to run more. Um, <laughs> Uh, what's been the difference in practice in, in instituting that? And how's the team taking that kind of mindset that you want to get out and run more? I mean, so in order to be able to run, you got to be in shape. So our main emphasis has just been getting in shape for the season. And I didn't even know I broke that. I thought it was known. But, uh, yeah, coach wants to get up a little bit more and, you know, 
me coming coming back and, you know, kind of knowing the offense a little bit more this year, I can try to, you know, be closer with coach and kind of facilitate what he wants to do better this year because I got to be the on-court coach for him. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, just a couple more here for Tiger. Tarek, go ahead. Sorry, uh, I, I know we're going to talk to Jalen Clark here. Tiger, can you just comment on Jalen, what he's been like? Uh, you're smirking, as I say, you know, yeah. off the court, on the court. You know, he's new to Westwood, man. Just whatever you have to say about his, uh, about his uh, game or whatever. You know, he plays so hard. He gets all the offensive rebounds. You know, he's probably one of – he's, if not one of our best defenders right now. You know, he's just – you know, everything's coming to him. You know, he's a freshman, so got to limit some of the stuff he does and just – Obviously, coming from high school to college, the game is a little bit faster. So, you know, he's he's working though. He's been in here working, and he's gonna he can he's gonna help us this year. All right, last one here for uh, last two for Tiger. Ben, go ahead. You guys done a great job of uh, keeping the virus away. I don't think you guys have had any positives on the team. Uh, but then, if you look around, it's it's going up. Uh, that's getting a little bit crazy. How much anxiety do you have as we're like, you know, basically a week away from the season that you guys are going to be able to get in your games? Um, you know, just gotta, just gotta believe in the team, you know, that they'll handle themselves off the court. And I mean, if something happens, it's out of our control. So I wouldn't say I'm anxious. It's just, if it's going to happen, it's going to run its course. So really just all I can do is just handle myself off the court and make sure that I'm staying out of the, the, the wrong stuff and thinking about my team first with stuff. So I can't really speak on anybody else on the team. All right, last question here for Tiger, Dennis Freeman, go ahead. Hey Tiger, um, you guys have um, high expectations. How do you, how will you guys be able to handle this, all these expectations of your ball club? Uh, Cause we don't really look into that, honestly, or what people have us first in the Pac-12 and things like that. We're just really focused on practice every day getting better every day and not really listening to what people are saying outside of the 13 guys and coaches that we have in the, in the practice gym with us every day. And that's how we just going to get better and not really, you know, stray away from our path. Cause obviously, you know, we just want to win. That's all we're worried about. We're not worried about what anybody says, whether we're good or bad. We're just worried about winning. All right. Thank you so much, Tiger. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs> Next up, we're going to be joined by Jalen Clark. As a reminder, use the raise hand function to ask a question for Jalen. Uh, Hi, Jalen. Uh, All right. Mike Gregolato, you are up. Hey, Jalen. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, good. How about you? Good. Thank you. Uh, you know, Coach Cronin picks a certain type of guy, you know, physical, hustle, defensive minded. Uh, and, you know, that's one of the reasons he, you know, uh, was drawn towards you. You committed to UCLA. How are you uh, fitting in with his system? Um, it's obviously the second year for him at UCLA. And how do you feel that you're meshing with, uh, with, with the team and the scheme? Uh, really good. The team's awesome. Like, we don't have no clicks or anything. Everybody hangs out with everybody. So that's real cool. And um, with Cronin, it's like I get to play how I've always played my whole life. I don't really have to change or make um, alterations to my game or anything like that. So that's also really cool, too. All right, Ben Bolch. Uh, Jalen, uh, nice to see you. Welcome to UCLA. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, uh, Tiger was saying that uh, maybe you guys might play a little bit faster this year. I know this is your first year. Uh, but uh, have you seen that? Did, did, has the style been maybe a little bit more up and down than you anticipated? Uh, he, when Cronin was recruiting me, he told me they're going to get up and down this year. But for sure, in practice, he makes an emphasis on blitzing the ball, which is like just getting it up the court really fast and trying to score within the first eight seconds of the shot clock. So it's, it, we're playing extremely fast this year. 
Rick Kimbrell, go ahead. Welcome to college basketball, young man. Uh, thank you. How is it? Tell us a little bit about what's the big difference between high school and and what have you? What's anything surprising to you? Uh, I wouldn't say surprising, but like the biggest difference is like really having to like practice like every day. Like at the high school I went to, we didn't really like it was whatever. Like you practice if you wanted to, if you didn't, you didn't have to. So this is like a big step, just like physically, like how physically demanding it is every day. And if you don't take care of your body, you're going to feel it as the practices keep coming. Tarek, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, we, we know you you get after it defensively. We, you know, that that's where you, you, a lot of your identity resides. I mean, talk about maybe guarding guys like Chris Smith and Johnny Juzang in practice. Um, I know you're a competitive guy. Can you just kind of talk about guarding those guys in practice? Um, it's funny because me and Johnny have been on the same team the whole time, like every single day. So I've never really guarded Johnny. But um, me and Johnny played a lot all the way through. We both played on Compton Magic and stuff together. And we both played um, against each other in high school a few times. But um, Chris, I've guarded, I haven't really guarded Chris that much. I help on the weak side and stuff. They mostly got me on like the guards. So I chased Jake and Jules around off screens and stuff like that. But um, Chris is a really good offensive um, player this year. I think he's going to turn a lot of heads and he's improved on his game drastically. Do we have any other questions for Jalen? Oh. Ben, go ahead. Jalen, you guys have done pretty much a perfect job of uh, warding off the virus. But as I'm sure you've seen around the country, it's a different story. Uh, what's your kind of anxiety level about that being an issue in uh, playing games and getting the season in? Uh, I like personally, I just stay in my room. All day. I don't really know anyone out here. So I'm just in there like playing video games. So I really keep my contact with anyone else at a minimal. But I was pretty much say like the whole team, we're all really close. So if we are going to do something, we go to like Tiger's house and play like Smash Bros on the Nintendo DS or something like that. We don't really go out much. Anything else here for Jalen today? All right. Thank you, Jalen. We'll let you go. Thank you.